Prince William meets with King Obama. Twitter responds accordingly. What is it like to be able to do things unilaterally without a legislature? That's the question. Prince William and Kate begin U.S. visit with royal, royal treatments. Oh my goodness, the royalty of it. Ooh. Billionaires paid for by taxpayers as pensioners basically have their gas allotments cut off. Oh, how liberal. Prince William, Duchess Kate kick off U.S. trip with visit to White House and New York City Child Development Center. Oh, why don't they bring Jimmy Savelle over with them and uh, some of the bodies they've been digging up on the royal grounds of small children. Uh, continuing, Kate visits New York City kids. She cares about the children and Prince William joins Obama. You go out there, dear, and care about the children in the nursery while we have a fine cigar. <laughs> and of course, LeBron honored to play before the royals. I'll tell you what else LeBron James, or also known as King James, tattooed on his shoulders. No narcissism there. A literal god, much like Kate and the princeling King James. LeBron James leads the way in I Can't Breathe t-shirts as hundreds of anti-police protests mob NBA game attended by William and Kate. Oh, they must go to the Bread and Circus to give extra support to that to get the rabble watching the distraction while they lovingly run the eugenics program <laughs> for Grandpa Prince Philip, LeBron James and other... Well, the future king of England took time to meet with King James, as he calls himself. LeBron James again demonstrates social conscience with I Can't Breathe shirt. And I've got the photo of him here uh, meeting uh, with Prince Charles' son and he is cute little wife that we're all supposed to love and buy into and get little royal coffee cups. And to add insult to injury, the article's up on Infowars.com. Piers Morgan has come out and said that America needs a monarch. Says Obama will thankfully bow and scrape at feet of royals. I don't think Obama has found royals uh, that he doesn't bow to. And, and now there's a lot of analysis out there that that began the final implosion of CNN from being number two on cable behind Fox to now being way in the end. It's gone. It's being dumped off cable all over the place, dumped off different satellite systems. It's a joke. And have they stopped? No, they've increased the royal coverage of the royal carriage. Almost every time I see CNN, it's the Queen of England, gracious leader. Oh, we love you, new people. They'll have that British reporter on going, they're probably having pea soup and something proper meal. And the Transylvanian royal family perched like giant stinking vultures on the carcass of the UK. But I'll tell you who, who's into royalty. Scum. Narcissistic pimps. That's why so many of the gangster hip-hop mindless rappers will call themselves you know, prince this, king that, the god this, the god that. King James, all this arrogance. And of course, you'll find King James meeting with Prince Turdley or whatever his name is. And don't worry, Obama has met with the prince. Oh, the graciousness of it. Sorry, I need to get into news here. Prince William and Duchess, Duchess, Duchess Kate kick off U.S. trips with visit to White House. Of course, the Anglo-Saxons and then the Norman that took over in 1100 and all the subsequent things that happened. But when you look at this group of people, nothing against Romanians or Germans, but they're not even British. <laughs> That's what's so frustrating. 
That's what's so nauseating about it. I mean, at least the little bit of royalty I'm connected to, you know, got into the royal house by being in battles and chopping people's heads off and defending the king and stuff like that. And at least I can trace back my lineage to nobility in England, but they all got there from killing people in battles, not by being Transylvanians. Of course, the Transylvanians got there because... And ended up leveraging all of Europe to keep the uh, Muslim invasions down, starting with Vladi and Paler. So I guess they got there from violence as well. But it's just, it, it's just everyone stepping and fetching to inbred, mentally ill, degenerate royalty makes me want to throw up. Absolutely, totally disgusting on so many fronts. But don't worry, LeBron was honored to play before the Royals. These people think we're so stupid. And I'll tell you something. Being chumped and being into royalty because of all the made-for-TV shows and movies and when I'm at the grocery store at the checkout line, there's almost always two or three magazines about the Royals that women buy. Let me tell you my litmus test for a woman. If she likes royal families and, is, and wants the teacups and stuff, other than a joke, something's wrong with them. But it's Anglophile brainwashing that's gone on in this country for 100 years. You know the Thurston Howe III fake accent from Gilligan's Island that Thurston Howe, Oh, I love you. Oh, have some champagne. That is the Atlantic accent that's about 150 years old where the blue bloods that got their money from British industrialists mainly would go to classes to readopt a British American style Atlantic accent to be accepted into British uh, royal houses and they would end up having homes in London and living there half the time. So there was a major recolonization of our republic with this British royalty Anglophile crap. I mean, people get tired of Israel trying to manipulate the internal activities of the U.S. and I don't like it and I criticize it. But does anyone talk about the British colonization? And I don't mean the British people. Of that thing, that monarchy and the big banks and the city of London that owns much of our Federal Reserve. You want to know who wrote Obamacare? These people. They want to run our lives. They want to tell us what we can eat, where we can go, what we can do. It's the model. And they're bad news, ladies and gentlemen. Extremely bad news.